Hi, uh, here I will show you how to export the data from uh, ESP8266 to the uh, thingspeak.com. Uh, so first uh, we have to create a new channel. Uh, first you have to register in Thingspeak. Uh, so once you are registering to it, uh, you will be uh, uh, greeted with this window. So we can go on and click a new channel. And I'm going to export uh, two uh, fields. The first one is for temperature. Oops. Okay, I'm going to change set settings. So the first one is be temperature. And the second one is for humidity. Uh, so the first two fields. Once you fill that one, uh, go on and save the channel so we have two fields here and then uh, can go and check the API so this is a uh, write API key for me so I'm going to copy this one so copy this one and uh, I need two files uh, for this one is uh, DHT11 uh, and then another one is init. Uh, you need a ESP8 uh, explorer for this. So here you can see I've connected the DHT11 uh, temperature sensor <coughs> to the ESP8266 uh, ESP12 uh, Wi Fi module. Uh, this one is from AI Thinker. But uh, you can use any other uh, ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. <coughs> I'm going to load the files which I shown previously. The first one is DH. Uh, so this one is uh <coughs> I'm using the GPIO pin two here. Uh, Make sure that you are the copied uh, API write API key from thingspeak.com. Uh, you have to copy this and paste it in the DHT11 uh, Lua program. So this is my previous key. I'm going to delete this. So here yeah, I'm deleting my previous key and pasting the new key here. So this is my new key and I'm going to save this. It's saved. So once uh, the only change you have to do is here is to change the key and uh, you don't need to change any other thing in this and make sure that uh, you also pointing to the card pin. So if the pin number is 4 you have to connect it to GPIO02. So here you can see the pins and the GPIO number so I'm connecting to GPIO02 so it's in the IO index 4 so if you are uh, pointing the IO index 4 uh, you have to connect it to GPIO02 so this is the table for those so once it is over you can go on and open in it and make sure that uh, you are using a you know Wi-Fi SDA and configuration as your SDA and your password so this is one is uh, your Wi-Fi name and this one is your password for your Wi-Fi router so first I'm going to open the port that I have connected to my system it is in uh, COM28 so I'm going to open this so it's open successfully I'm going to save this uh, TH11 to ASP 8266 so here you can see that it is sliding into it so it's over now then I'm going to save the init.lua file
so here you can see that it is trying to connect to the Wi-Fi yes it's connected here and it will call the file DHT11 once it is connected to the IP so you can wait 